for another recording. And this LP is going kind of fast. I'm getting kind of concerned. I'm going to choose again. What's the vault code? Be nice to tell me. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, seven. Ha! If anyone gets that joke, I'm really mad at you. Okay. <laughs> So we got here. You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your Binocucom. Okay then. I could always use data of some sort. If I'm correct, we uh yeah, we're the last one from this area, okay. Now, this is behind like the beginning of the game here again. And Shadow Toast this is harder, but it's not. So I guess it just stinks. Uh, there you have it. So let's get these keys plugged in here. And then you just hit the rocket. Yeah, one thing you gotta understand is that whenever you use a rocket, you gotta hit it first. And you'll see what I mean. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Okay, so this is the easy part here. We should have... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know why I did it that way. And the next levels are all just like rehashes of things you've already done. <laughs> There's that one from this Ruby's level. Uh, there's the race from Bugshot's level that I sucked bad. Remember that one? And there's uh, Carmelita level as well. And that one's actually really easy. I'm not afraid of that one. That was easy. Yeah, I know how it works. They tell me the controls all over again. This one's a little noisy, I don't know why that is. My TV's in the same volume as it was last time. That was old PS2 sound effects, they're always kind of loud. Well, that's called dying in the middle of the level, so if you like that part, don't do it. It's not fun. Especially when you have zero lives. How the heck did I lose all my lives? That part wasn't funny. There's some points here, yeah. I'm usually really good at this level. I don't know what's going on, so it's easy. I'm gonna go one more off of I don't know how that works, but okay. See, in Ms. Ruby's level, it's all limited to movement. That's why you can go wherever you want. This one's an actual level. Isn't it? It's supposed to be harder, but they didn't do a very good job making it harder. Just the first one was hard enough on its own. 
Get that rock there, it's a little Easter egg, I guess you could say. It'll blow that part of the wall off. That's just fun. Nothing special about it, just fun. Something that people need. I can tell them in your face. It's real easy. It's hard. It's like it's a joke. Now, if you didn't notice, these guys took the little monkeys out. Um, not really projectile-wise, but like control, like how they work. They get close to them, they stop shooting and stuff. Are similar to those dudes who throw their heads at you. Yeah. Little monkey died in his hand or something. Huh, what a way to lose an extra life, just get right back. I like the head dudes though, you can shoot these snowballs and kill them, I don't know the point of the bar. This is loud. At least it's over. At least it's over. 70%. Now... I'm not going to do the time levels, like I said, I think I said it a hundred times now, but I'm still not going to do them, so, I don't think I will. I have no desire to, definitely. Ah, oh, jeez. Like the one in Bug Shots wasn't stupid enough. Now this level's a bit of a stupid poopy, so I'm sure you know what poop is. I'm sure you've been on Earth long enough to know what poop is. And if you haven't you probably it's never ate before. Because you're not human. You're a walrus. I don't know where any of this kid is coming from. It's just commentary. Now, this last guy here, I don't know why, but I can never beat him, so. He's a tough dude that takes forever to beat. It's hard to differentiate which dude you're passing, they're all the same. The other race, they all look different, they all have original design. in the bag. It's a little easier than the first one. This one has a lot more traps. And I'm going to stop here. See you next episode.